This tutorial will be discussing how to start putting together your uh, main cover line, first of all, and then your secondary cover lines as well. Um, one thing that's really important as you're putting together these cover lines is unity, making sure your magazine is unified. So first of all, you don't want too many different fonts. Uh, you want to make sure you use just one or two fonts. Um, keep it simple with the fonts that you choose. Um, so something like Arial or Times New Roman, something simple usually works the best. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is trying to create um, or use colors that are consistent with colors from your background and colors on your font and then to be creative as well. Um, so instead of just typing out um, simple cover lines that are all just plain black text with no drop shadows or no um, border or different colors would make your magazine kind of boring and not stand out if it's on the shelf. So you want to make it creative and stand out. For, for, so for example I have uh, the circle behind this secondary cover line. I have this five that's enlarged with um, a different color behind the actual uh, story. So make sure that you're being creative instead of just having plain black font over every single um, different article. Here's one example of putting together a uh, article or a secondary cover line. Uh, so this secondary cover line I have typed up, um, how to find the right doctor for your child right here. First of all, I want to make sure that I'm lining it up. Um, if it's on the right side with the margin, so this purple line, the uh, margin that's on the right side of my image. So instead of having all this text fit on the left, I want it to line up on, or on, I want it to line up on the right side instead of the left. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to highlight it, and in this upper right-hand corner here are the different styles of the alignment of your text. So I could have it centered so that it's not aligned on the left or right, um, which usually works well if you're going to be putting your secondary cover line or your main cover line in the center of your um, title or in the center of your magazine. If you have your title on the left side, um, aligned on the left, that's when I would move your uh, cover line to the left margin over here. But again, since it's on the right side, I want to line it up with my right margin, so I'm going to make all of that font fit along this purple line. The next thing is trying to get all of that text to kind of even itself out. So this middle one here is a lot longer than um, how to find or for your child underneath. So I want to try and make all of these kind of fit together a little bit better. Um, so to do that, I could highlight my top word here and use the uh, tracking or the kerning at the top. So I might use this tracking here and add a little bit more distance between how to find. If I highlight my middle, middle section that says the right doctor, I could use this tracking again, so where this V slash A is, and I could lower the tracking so that it's a little bit uh, more kind of squished together. And then for your child, I could lower that tracking a little bit too, just maybe one or two clicks, um, so that it aligns perfectly with the H and the T. So all of those are lined up now. Um, I can also, to make this text stand out a little bit more, make it so that the font is bold. So instead of having it on regular, I could select bold, and that way it's going to stand out a little bit. Um, however, it still does get lost a little bit in the background and a little bit in the darker hair in this area. Um, so there's a couple different things you could do to adjust that. The first thing you could do to adjust that is to add a color in the background. So if I come over to my tool panel on the left, I could either add a frame or use my rectangle tool here and just add a box right behind where it says um, how to find the right doctor for your child. And then I can come over to the right where it says color and choose a color. And again, I would try and choose something that is similar to what your color scheme already is. So I'm going to use the same light blue that I already used here. Um, now you'll also notice that this is coming on top of my text. So in my layers panel over here, if you click this little drop down arrow, you can see how um, you can move around the order of things. So it's showing me that on this layer I have a rectangle and I also have my text that says how to find the right doctor. So if I click and slide this up above my rectangle, it will show up. So then I can adjust um, the size so that this fits behind my text a little bit better. Um, now something else that happens or you'll notice right away is that it's covering up too much of the person in this picture. 
So you want that face to still stand out. So one thing you could do is adjust the opacity of your image. To adjust the opacity of um, this blue color, if you click on that box and then click on it with two fingers, make sure you have your selection tool selected. You can go down to effects and then choose transparency and make sure you have this little preview box chosen here and you can take down the opacity of that box. So maybe you'll just have that really faint color behind it and then if I hit OK. So you'll notice now if I hit the W on my keyboard to see how my magazine looks without the guidelines, um, you'll be able to really see that font a lot better. Um, however, now it's not covering part of the face. Uh, the text box so you can see a little bit more of uh, the person in the image. Something else you could do to make your text stand out more is using a different color. So maybe a white would make this stand out more um, or maybe I just want part of my words or part of my text to be a different color. So I'll choose the right doctor in the middle to make that stand out more and I'll choose white. Um, so now it just kind of adds a little bit of variety as well. Um, something else you could do is maybe add a drop shadow to your, to your font. Uh, so if you use your selection tool, click on your font box with two fingers and go down to effects. You can try a drop shadow to add to that font. Um, and that helps it to stand out a little bit as well, so it makes it just a little bit darker. If you wanted to do something like this, where it says the toys and books your kids will love with the circle behind it, you would do the same thing we did up here where we put the um, box with the color in it. Um, however, when you're on the left side over here and you click on this rectangular tool, hold that down and you'll be able to find your ellipse tool. Um, if you wanted to do something like this where the 5 is a lot bigger, um, that's a great idea to change up the size of the font. Uh, so to do that, I would just add a new layer and then add another text box and then just change the size of the font for that. Um, if you look over here where it says how to find the right doctor, the how to find part is a lot bigger font size and then the right doctor is a little bit smaller. So that adds a little bit of variety but it still is keeping my magazine unified because I'm not using too many colors or too many different types of font.